Sean with face down here, and we are with Danny from Ask About Andrea. Hello. And what are you doing, man? I do the voice thing, the singer people, the shout out, scream and swear and get in trouble. All right. No, sorry, sorry. sluts are walking in. <laughs> shout out, shout out. We've got groupies. <laughs> shout out. Just kidding. Where is this squirt? Shh, we're doing it. All right, question number one is, uh, who is Alexandria, and uh, what did you ask her? All right, I'm glad you asked us this now. You're the first person to ask this since we actually have a story. Because there was never a meaning. We didn't actually make this band name with any meaning at all. But now, did you see the uh, girl on the backdrop? Like the cutting girl? That is now asking, that is now Alexandria. I'm not asking anything, but we've got, we, that's who asking us. That's who Alexandria is now. Now, do you guys have a third place to uh, play? Um, Dallas is always fun. Uh, anywhere in Pennsylvania is always good. New Jersey is awesome. Though we don't have many bad places, to be honest. Everywhere is always pretty cool now. Now, when you guys first started out, um, the band shortly broke up and then reformed. Uh, and what made you guys, you know, decide to reform the band and, and with new members? Uh, I mean, I wasn't in the band. It was just Ben, and it was his old band. It wasn't Asking Alexandria, it was um, End of Reason. And they changed the name and broke up like two days later. And because it was, they just got the name. It was too much effort, they came up with another one. So he made a new band and kept the name. Right. Now, why did you guys decide to record them in the United States instead of your home country? People, I usually say because it's better, but I got in trouble for saying that. Uh, because uh, we were kind of Jerry Stage and he's awesome and he's like the forefront in recording in our scene and um, how much we're progressing into new scenes now, he's still, he's following us like he knows our sound better than anyone else, he knows exactly what we want, he writes with us, it's kind of, he's a part of the band almost. And why did the reissue album of Stand Up and Scream keep getting pushed back? Uh, the Step to and Scratch is just a remix album. Um, it was something because our new album was supposed to be released a lot later. So we came up with that idea to kind of spread it out. And then we did an EP instead. So it's just been pushed back and pushed back because, I mean, we had nothing to do with it. It was all outside DJs that we make stuff. Um, I don't know. If when, when we're stuck for something to release, that'll come out. But as of now, we're focusing more on pushing out our new sound rather than stuff like other people's takes on what we already did in the past. Now, I uh, just recently read that you guys are going to be appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Uh, yes. Are you guys excited and how that came about? I'm really excited. Um, I don't know how it came about. I do not know. We've, al we've always had like, this little bad reputation and all that kind of the band that nobody wants to push that hard because in case it makes them look bad. And uh, then we just got approached for it. And we were like, Okay, we'll go on Jimmy Kimmel. Can't promise we're going to be very PC, but we're going to go on it nonetheless. I was just really excited about it. It's pretty awesome. Now, do you guys have any pre-show rituals before you play? Endorsement? Please, any tequila brand. Not just this. Or Jack Daniels, anything. Any liquor, really. <laughs> Excellent. Now, what made, you, what made you guys decide to promote so heavily and so quickly in the U.S.? Uh, I mean, we came here from the start, like, it's fun from which we started here. Like, it's, we could have put all the work in the UK, got really big there, then come to America and start here. But we came straight to America, got big here, and it, it was ridiculously quick, like, we couldn't even keep track of it. And because we were big in America, everywhere else just kind of followed. So, in getting big here, we kind of covered it everywhere in one. So now we go other places and we're not as big as we are here, but everyone knows who we are, so we've got the opportunity to just push it a bit further. It's less effort and less work and it's faster. Well, apparently everybody knows who you are because you had a big crowd waiting yeah, awesome. and it was actually bigger than Escape the Fate, so that's got to say something. Um, what are your thoughts on uh, Charlie Sheen? Love him so much, so much. My hero, I will party with him any day. <laughs> I get a lot of short from my party, but I ain't going to lie, I'll party with him any day of the week. <laughs> and uh, what is your favorite song to play live? Someone Somewhere. Now we've, uh, it's our only all-singing song, it was our radio tune, and, like, 
how much I play this music and I enjoy playing it, I don't listen to it. I just like straight up rock and roll song. That song's got a stronger feel of it. It's all singing. It's got. It's, it's a really personal song as well. I, I love playing that live. And I used to be shit at playing it because I never used to be able to sing it. And I'm getting better and better each day, so it's it's good for me. Excellent. And last but not least, what what's in store for Ask and Alexandria? Uh, do you guys have any more tours? Uh, you just have a new, a new album that comes out. Yeah. Any music videos? Uh, new album your band today. Excited? We've got uh, four or five new videos coming out. I'm going to spread them across. Um, we've got Warp Tour coming up. We've got UK Europe headline tour coming up. Um, we're organising another headliner for the end of the year. We've got a lot more TV performances coming up. Um, me and Ben are doing a few movies. Uh, we've got a TV show coming out. Actually, two TV shows coming out. And I'm doing another band as well. It's everything. Everything is happening this year. Taking over the world. Excellent. Bringing rock and roll back. For those of you who don't know Ask and Alexandra, definitely check these guys out. These guys fucking rock. I do thank you. Thank you too. Facetown is out. <laughs>